Okay, gang, I realize it's not perfect. That's the best I can do under the situation. It's uh, it's after 8 in the evening. And uh, I'm going to try to do is uh, connect my two lines, my two ducts to my connectors down there. And see what we can get done. Let me pause you. I'll come back when I get to the one ready. Hold on. All right, here she goes. Not gonna be. Per I, I did some caulking around here, and the caulking. All right, caulking's fine. Caulking's good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get it purdy. I'm just. I want to get it functional. That's the goal. But we'll try to do both. Oh, now you can't see what I'm doing. So. Uh, trick is to get the clamp in the, in the spot where you can tighten it. I'm learning. Just have to take your time. Make sure the seal is good because I'm doing most of this by feel, so I can't see what I'm doing either. And uh, clamp's finally getting tight a little bit. Tell you what, let me put you on pause. Okay, got one clamp tight. And it's got a good seal. And I'm going to try not to bust my leg through the ceiling. Um, I think before I start this next one, I'm going to put some foil tape around it. One thing I just learned is to make sure you have your clamp started pretty far in because otherwise you'll just be tightening you know spinning and spinning so get your clamp going a little bit more in fact just get it to where uh, a little bit looser than that that might be better okay I'm gonna put some foil tape around that one hold on all right I got foil tape around it and this time I did cover the nut because I couldn't see it so I just uh, did, we did what I got to do. Now I'm going to do this side. It's snowing. I got, I'm getting snow all over me, but that's all right. Get this thing relocated a little bit. So we can get this. Ah, okay, that's better. Put this insulation in. I'm going to try not to get anything down there, you know, if I can help it. Get a clamp. Put the clamp this way. Is it still working? Yeah. Now, I want to loosen it up a little bit more. Okay. 
Okay, this one, the lip isn't as good as that one. Because I insulated pretty far off. So, just going to, as long as I can get this clamp on there and secure it, we'll feel okay about it. This one I'm going to go snug, 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 and I'm snug right now, and I'm going to go a little bit snugger than snug. I don't want to, I don't want to feel it. Still going. You don't want the clamp to collapse that, um, that sheet metal underneath there on the uh, the back will be better. Okay, that's good. I like that. All right, let me uh, tape that and we'll, we'll go keep going. Hold on. All right, she's taped. I'm just going to do a little squeegee best I can. I already did this one best I can. I think I might put another, I know I'm doing overkill now, but I think I might put another layer of uh, uh, tape on top of maybe both of them, but definitely this one for sure. Hold on. All right. Uh, I got two, two layers of uh, foil tape on this side. This one's pretty good because I, I, I had a better... Uh, better base to work from so all right I'll do that side too hold on all right both sides have uh, enough foil tape to get the job done it's gonna be a little squeegee not getting too crazy with it get a clamp or something wait I have something all right hold on guys I'm gonna do a little strap tie up this uh so I can I need to get it up off its own weight so hold on all right got it up off its own weight for the most part so now what I'm gonna do is see what would be the best way to uh, finish this off do is uh, I've got two six inch clamps down in, in the shop I might use the six inches since these down because uh, tape wouldn't do it but uh, I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now it's not it's not finished yet but uh, yeah, if I, uh, six inch clamps might be the way to go. Uh, get them as, as close to the uh, sheetrock as I can. Cinch them up just enough to where it gives me a good seal. And uh, call, it, call it done for that part. Then figure out how I'm going to run it. Uh, 
because I definitely want to try to keep the weight off but then again I have to worry about like I know you can't see it hold on let me show you I'll, I'll, hold on a sec all right so just a little bit different perspective my, my 12.3 uh my 12.3 is fine um if I have any more slack that I can find I could move this back possibly uh, I don't know how far it goes in Maybe we'll deal with that, but as far as right now, it's okay, but I, I kind of like the idea of the six inch clamps. Wrapping them around, putting uh, as much insulation, as much of the outer layer of the skin as I can down there, and then taking the clamp and, and clamping over the skin, obviously, and capturing the uh, insulation underneath it. I think that might be the best way to go. But I think I'm gonna leave it for, for right now. We're not choking off my six inch, or my four inch, I should say. I mean, it's not the greatest looking, and it's only temporary. I just wanted to get the weight off of here, but I do want to get out of here. I want to get out of this uh, attic space. <clears throat> and tomorrow I was planning on taking the day off. Uh, here's my here's my my drain for my. Pay oh wait a minute! Oh no! Wait, hold on a sec. Oh yeah, that's the drain for my pan. But there's another one. Let's see. I got two. Drains. Oh, wait, wait a minute now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the drain for the pan. This is the drain for the air handler. Okay, so this is the pan. The drain for my pan. Anyway, <clears throat> not important. But I'm liking it. It's it's in. It's not complete. But I like the idea of using those uh, six-inch clamps, and I think I'm going to do that. So let me leave you with this shot right here. I know it's real way long. Thanks for being patient with me and watching. And there's going to be more to come.